Republican U.S. Representative Morgan Griffith is getting ready to return to work. He said there's a lot on Congress's plate starting Monday. He stopped by the Sydney studio Friday to talk about President Trump's successes, foreign policy, including relations with North Korea and border security. Here's part of our conversation, starting with evaluating President Trump. How would you describe his successes and or failures over uh, his presidency thus far? When you look at policy, the president has been very successful. We've had tax cuts. We're working on the regulatory stuff. He deserves the credit for regulatory reform, which is creating more jobs and allowing more expansion in the United States. More jobs, more money, better economy. We're going to be okay. Some of the analysis of Mr. Trump's activity is that he's fairly isolationist at this point with some of his decision making. Do you feel that way about the president's activities? I don't. Uh, what the president is saying is we need a better deal. We need a, a fairer deal. You know, for example, with the Chinese. They've been stealing from us for decades. And we've just been taking it because we've had the largest economy and we've said, well, we, we want to work with the Chinese because we want their markets. At some point, we have to say stop or we're going to be second, third, or fourth best economy in the world instead of number one. Griffith says that may involve some jostling, but after the two countries reach a new deal, America's trade laws will stay open. What do you think the right move is for him in relation to Kim Jong-un? Is, is a meeting, a face-to-face -face meeting, a, a good idea and potentially productive? I think it is a good idea because it is potentially productive. We've tried everything else. No other president has ever said, I will sit down and talk with you. Part of the North Korean problem is they've always had this chip on his shoulder that nobody respected him. He's shown them some respect. If that means we get rid of nuclear weapons that threaten uh, Japan, Guam, even the west coast of the United States, it's a good thing. He feels the U.S. is in a better position with North Korea than it has been in his lifetime, and President Trump deserves the credit. Turning to border security, Griffith believes we need to make improvements on the Mexican border. And to some extent, it's money and resources, right? Is that going to be a congressional fight for money there? It is going to be a congressional fight for money, and, and I will tell you, this is a place where we don't have bipartisan support. And, and I unfortunately and regrettably think that there are some Democrats, not all, but some Democrats who want to keep this issue alive so they don't want to compromise on something like DACA, where most everybody agrees we've got to find a solution for those kids. Griffith added that there is money in the congressional budget for a program that would take abandoned coal lands and redevelop them for new purposes. That includes in our area. He says that legislation could have a positive effect on people here in southwest Virginia. Tonight on 10 News, we're going to hear about what he's doing this week to help combat the opioid epidemic.